what's up what's up what's up you already know this is peach and tonight we are going to be having chicken and noodles for dinner oh i forgot to introduce you i'm sorry and baby we got baby and his carrot say hi say hi good job good job Let's go. you're going to meet all right, guys, to make this meal, this is what you're going to need. Put it back, Gorgeous. Yucky. Gorgeous always thinks she's a chef. You're going to need some chicken. This right here is three pounds. We normally use five, but if you watch my meat store video, you saw it was cheaper to get um, a meat Daddy. plan. So I ended up getting three pounds of drumsticks, which is about, it's nine pieces in here. So nine pieces of drumsticks. You're going to need two bags of dumplings if you want a big pan we're gonna make a real big pan these are dumpling egg noodles it's so hot then we also have two cans of the family size cream of chicken for the seasonings, seasonings. hold on guys we're going to be using lari season salt baria you remember they taught me how to say that at the um meat store yesterday it's baria these are cereal. I'll make you some in a second. Baria Complete Seasoning. Y'all, I always use my complete. I always got it in stock. Your meal ain't complete. Hey, if you don't use complete. Next, we got our Goya Zazon. Now, I know a lot of y'all supposed to be boycotting Goya. Why are you lying? Baby arguing with gorgeous. Choice won't cereal. I know a lot of y'all say y'all boycotting Goya who makes Zazon. But I'm not because it tastes really good on my food, okay? So I'm going to keep using my Zazon. Next, we got... Hold on, baby. Next, we got Abaro. Yep. Garlic salt. Garlic salt. Onion powder. Onion powder. And, um... Oh, this onion powder right here. Why are you using garlic salt and garlic powder? That don't make sense. Why are you going to use garlic salt and garlic powder? Oh, he's, so why you use this? It don't taste like that. <laughs> so chicken and noodle, and my chicken noodle tastes good, but the kids like daddy chicken and noodle. I taught him how to make chicken and noodle. Now, if it was me, I wouldn't be using all these different seasonings. I would just use like zazon, black pepper, um, complete, and seasoned salt. That's all I would use. All the seasonings that I'm showing you. He's a hater. All the seasons I'm showing you is what daddy used when he make it. And like I said, the kids like daddy chicken and noodle better than mine. But I taught him. Me. Okay, let's get into it. Make sure you clean your chicken. I know some of y'all don't clean y'all chicken. I was surprised when I found that out. But if you do clean your chicken, you can clean it in water. Or you can clean it with water and vinegar. That's up to you. I'm just going to get this chicken to rent. I'm not going to soak it in vinegar. And I'll be looking for like yellow stuff in here, but I don't see none on this. So we're just rinsing it out. Put that fat up. I don't like the fat. And y'all know if you're a peach patch. Peach patch, what should I call how should I say it? If you're like an original peach patch member, member, you know I don't like dark meat. This is only one of the this is one of the only times I'll eat dark meat. You can get a knife y'all if y'all want and cut this fat. I'm just pulling pulling it off like this. This come right off. I don't want that. Um chick. I just don't like it. And no, I'm not using gloves, babe. You can't see the whole chicken, you gotta come up. Thank you. I'm not using gloves. This is my house. My kitchen. I get to do whatever I want over here. You get to do whatever you want where you are. Okay. And the reason why I don't like drumsticks, I don't like dark meat, is because I grew up eating this all the time. My mama never wanted to buy white meat. I've been taking this little yellow piece off right here. I don't know why. I just I don't like that. And it's easy to do that with a um a knife. But I just use my hand and pull it right on off. Or just keep trying to season stuff because she wanna be a chef. 
Oh, this chicken so ugly. Look at this drum. So ugly. But we not gonna worry about it. Cause once it get out of fat, once it get in the um, no gorgeous. I'm gonna season and cut the chicken. So daddy was gonna cook for us, but me and him got into a disagreement. This is why we argue about the chicken. Because daddy likes to season the chicken and the water. I feel like that's pointless because you're putting the chicken in water. You gonna season it? That's the right chicken. You gonna season it? Come on, cook it. Yeah, that's one. Uh, that's the whole chicken. Oh shoot, I ain't even know how to put the chicken in the in the it. Alright, so this is what the chicken looked like. Come on, babe, season it. Everybody like your cream of chicken better than mine. What's up? Oh my god. So how I normally do it is I just add water and season my water, but daddy. He said he not going to do it because of our disagreement about that. Because we argue about that every time. But I think it's dumb. Put the pepper in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the avocado. How you want me to season it like you? And I don't know how much to put. Like, <laughs> to make it like yours. I think this is... Okay, I'm going to put some of that. I think this is pointless. I'm using garlic salt now because... You said that's enough, but my ancestors ain't tell me that's enough. Put this pepper. Put this pepper. Okay, I'm gonna put the pepper. <coughs> this seasoning getting in my throat. That one, you pull that pepper. Okay, can you be quiet, ma'am? And baby, gorgeous and baby, so loud. Next, we're gonna use our seasoning salt. And I feel like this is pointless because you're gonna put water in here when you could just season the water. You could just season the water. That is so silly. And so we was arguing about that. And so he caught a little attitude with me. So now he like, I ain't Mommy. making your chicken. You make it yourself. I ain't cooking onion powder. Oh, I forgot to say y'all. Because y'all like when I say that. This is complete seasoning. But yeah, complete seasoning. Your meal ain't complete. Hey, if you don't use complete. This is my favorite. Now, that look like a lot of seasoning. Daddy don't use black pepper. You don't use black pepper? Mommy, what? Who did? Who did? I did. They're complete on top. My kids are so loud tonight. So the next thing we're going to do is add our Zazon. It's two packs. Baby, is this your show or mine? Two packs of Zazon. It looked crazy, right? Like, girl, all that seasoning, all of that. Daddy, you don't use black pepper normally? Oh, okay. Because I don't see it out here. I'll grab it. I'm going to grab the black pepper, y'all. Don't pan it. Are you black pepper? Just post on. Like that. Mommy. Yep. Once that's done, you're just going to give it a mix. Now, like I said, I normally won't do this. I normally don't do that. I think this is so silly. But this is what daddy normally does. And the kids. So now you're going to add water. This is why I feel like it's stupid to season the chicken. He said he seasoned the chicken, then seasoned the water. This is mom right here. Comment down below if you think it's silly to season the chicken. We want to add a lot of water, y'all. I got seasoning on my hand. It's fine. You want to add a lot of water because it got to boil, and you still got to add your um, noodles. So, noodles. a lot of water, y'all. I put noodles That's enough. Some more. I'm going to add it to light right there. want to make sure the chicken is completely covered. You see how that one not covered? Because we want it to boil. Alright, so now all the chicken is completely covered. That is more than enough to boil. And it is more than enough for the noodles to be added. Let's take it to the stove. Everybody want to be in the kitchen tonight. going to turn our stove on. And I have a gas. Stove. So it's on. Yeah. And so what we do now? You re-season re your water? So he said he don't season his water yet. He let me cook it, but his way. So we just leave it like this and let it boil. You add a lid, you put the lid on. But do you put the lid on? So typically ah. you would cover it with the lid, but the baby bust my lid to this pot yesterday. My Dollar Tree video. A lot of y'all was saying that I should get 
these little canisters to keep my Zazon pa packets in so I could get rid of the box and I did. I really like this one, but it couldn't fit a lot because of the size. So I ended up having to use both. So it was a good thing that I bought both. These are only $1 at the dollar store. Y'all grab y'all some of these if y'all need them. So this was a great idea. So one of the peaches from the peach patch suggested that I start taking my seasonings out of these containers and putting them in mason jars. Like actually dump this out and put them all in mason jars just for the look. I don't know about that. I might try it and see if I like it. But she was just like, it's going to make your cabinets look so pretty. You're going to really like it. X, Y, and Z. Y'all comment down below if y'all actually would dump your seasonings out of the containers they come in and put them into mason jars, like just the actual seasoning. Let me show y'all one part. The powder substance, the actual seasonings, and dump them into this. Would you do that? Are you doing that in your home? Comment down below if that is something that you would do or if something that you did do, the pros, the cons, etc. I don't know. I'm considering doing it because it sounds fly and I like the way this look. But I don't know about that. What y'all think? Tonight, I want to thank my subscribers who sent me these two incredible gifts. Y'all know I love to cook. I love to use my metal spoons and my cheap Dollar Tree knives. But my subscribers hooked me up with this little bougie stuff. This little bougie. Um, the first subscriber I want to thank is Miss Cheryl Warren. She sent me this silicone knife set. It's a 12 piece eat neat, eat neat, 12 piece colorful sharp knife set. It's five stainless steel knives, protective cutting boards, and all that good stuff. So I got a cutting board, a knife sharpener, and then these are the knives. So I am so thankful. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. And then the next subscriber, they didn't put your name with your your package i believe it was miss robin if i'm saying your name wrong please correct me she sent me this 13 piece kitchen utensil set and i just put them in here y'all y'all kept saying i need to stop using metal so i'm very grateful for her to send these to me my favorite thing in this whole set is this tongue set it is so tongue cool. set it is silicone and stuff but it got this little pull thing on it and you can pull it and then it come open i've never seen a tongue set like this y'all we getting real bougie up here and then you pull it back like that and it locks it is so nice and so thank you so much and if i said your name wrong which i'm pretty sure i did please correct me thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart drop a comment so i can give you a proper thank you but thank you guys for this nice set this cutting board i'm open to all kinds of gifts sponsorships whatever you send me something i am going to make a video about it so thank you has been on now for about how long you think babe 40 minutes for about 40 minutes it's not yet falling off the bone which is how i like it because i like whole chicken but it is tender so like if i was to take this chicken and i am using my new spoon it's so nice i feel fancy you it would just like break apart y'all see how easy that chicken is breaking when i touch it with the spoon it just breaks apart so that's how we know you know it's go time for these bad boys what i'm gonna do is add in my egg dumpling noodles these things are so good they look like this they're only about two dollars we're just gonna add them we're gonna do two bags because we want to have a lot of noodles our kids love noodles i bought these from target if you watch my grocery shopping at target video i bought these for a dollar 89 each from Target, look, Target, we looking bougie in the kitchen. Thanks to my subbies, ooh, this game is starting so good. Oh my God, I got the wooden handle and the silicone spoon. This is so nice. I think her name was Miss Robin. I know it started with an R, cause I've seen her mention, hey, did you get my gift? And I only got two gifts from subscribers, which was the silicone knives and i know that for sure is from miss cheryl because it was in her package and then this one is from another subscriber which i think is either miss robin or miss rachel oh i hate i can't remember your name next time i'm gonna start carrying a little notebook with me so i can remember who you guys are and thank you properly okay you're gonna eat baby like all oh, hype because you want to eat you gotta wait it's not ready yet he's really trying to fight to get the food it's not ready yet show baby <laughs> So baby, babe. 
He is like focusing on the food. He's so ready to eat. So these noodles, you don't have to keep stirring them. Just put them in, give them a stir, and then put your lid back on the pot and cover it. Now, I had a lid for this pot. I'm in love with this spoon and the wooden handle. I had a lid for this pot, but baby broke it last night. We have to actually put, install some little um locks on all of the cabinets because baby keeps pulling them out and he broke a glass lid. And this pot was $30 from Walmart and I really liked it. So I'm mad about my lid. But typically, if you have a lid, you just put it on top. Or if you don't have a lid, you can use a plate. But my pot is so big. I just want to show y'all, like, if y'all like, why you just won't put a plate? This pot is huge, so a plate don't fit over here. So we're just going to let it cook with the thing off. And then in a little bit, I'll say I'm probably like 10 more minutes, we'll come back and add our cream of chicken and let it cook for a little bit longer. And y'all, it's going to be so fine. And the house is already smelling good. You can make sweet peas in it if you want or on the side. We just like ours without sweet peas just like this. I'll make one can of sweet peas for myself because I like sweet peas. And it's still cooking on high. Right there. He is like focusing on the food. So these noodles, you don't have to keep stirring them. Just put them in, give them a stir, and then put your lid back on the pot and cover it. Now, I had a lid for this pot. I'm in love with this spoon and the wooden handle. I had a lid for this pot, but baby broke it last night. We have to actually put install some little um locks on all of the cabinets because baby keeps pulling them out and he broke a glass lid and this pot was thirty dollars from walmart and i really liked it so i'm mad about my lid but typically if you have a lid you just put it on top or if you don't have a lid you can use a plate but my pot is so big i just want to show y'all like, if y'all like why you just won't put a plate this pot is huge so a plate don't fit over here. So we're just gonna let it cook with the thing off. And then in a little bit, I'll say I'm probably like 10 more minutes. We'll come back and add our cream of chicken and let it cook for a little bit longer. And y'all, it's gonna be so fine. And the house is already smelling good. You can make sweet peas in it if you want or on the side. We just like ours without sweet peas, just like this. I'll make one can of sweet peas for myself because I like sweet peas. And it's still cooking on high. Ooh, I'm so ashy per usual. I do have a can opener, which is this handheld one. It's old, but, you know, it works. Now, I want to show y'all a hood way to open up y'all can goods. In case you don't have a can opener and you're struggling one day. What's the phone up, babe? So, what you're going to do is you're going to take you a knife. And you're going to take you a can. And you're going to hit, you know, hit that can like so. Sorry. Well, come the side, come from like the side, like that. Daddy, Watch out, Gorgiana. We see your baby. Seat. Your baby looks so pretty in the car seat. Daddy, look at her baby. The car seat, but he's yeah. What's your baby name? I'm just gonna hit it like that. Oh, and my can opener. If you wonder, like, girl, where you got your can opener from? I got it from, I think, the Dollar Tree or Walmart. It was a dollar. It was either a dollar ninety eight cent. You breathing all hard like you so sick of me. And then you just gonna pop this open like so. This is how I grew up using um a can opener. This was my can opener growing up. I didn't get a real can opener until I got with my baby four, then we got our own our own place. But that's our cream of chicken. And then if you wanna use one of these, now this is older, kind of rusty now, but you just Put it on the side and you just twist like this. Just want to show y'all. In case you don't have an electric can opener because you're a cheapskate or you just starting out your own place or something. And then that's just that. Alright. So she decided to ride her tricycle in the kitchen. Now she mad because she can't leave. Come up some. Like over the food. But show the whole thing. Alright, so this is like done. You can see the chicken starting to fall apart, which I hate when it does that i don't like it like that i actually like to have a whole piece of chicken but it's real tender and these have only been on for an additional 10 minutes everybody's so cooked different so it'll be anywhere between eight um i'm gonna say between seven and ten minutes or maybe 12 minutes if your stove don't cook as fast between eight and 12 minutes so just keep an eye on it when you put your noodles but after you add your noodles and they like done like these are basically done you're gonna add your cream of chicken this is the campbell's cream of chicken 
and this is the one that's the bad kind. It's not like healthy or nothing. Not the less sugar, less sodium, none of that. It's, you know, all that good stuff. We're going to add the whole can. We're going to take our spoon. I'm in love with this spoon. Look at y'all, you two upgrade my life. Man, I'm in love. This thing, wooden spoons is, where's that? All right, so I added one can. We're going to just stir that in. And then we're going to add our second can. We're just going to stir that in like so. And this is called chicken and noodles. My mama and grandma them been making this forever. My great grandma used to make this. So it's kind of like a family tradition, this meal right here. I don't know if this is a southern thing. Y'all comment down below if y'all cook chicken and noodles. Because I don't know if it's a southern thing or if this is something everybody does. And if you're in a different part of the world, do you guys eat chicken and noodles like this? My mom, she would add a can of sweet peas, but my children don't like it that way. We're on our second can. Our second can of um cream of chicken. Hold the phone up some Hold the phone up so. Our second can of can of cream of chicken. I am trying to dump it. Ooh. I love cream of chicken. I like cream of chicken just like on chicken with rice. Add just some peppers and some white rice. My baby father, mama used to make cream of chicken with white rice. I'm going to make that for y'all one day. My kids hate it because I made it so much. It's one of those meals that I don't like made to death. But I love it. And we're just going to stir that thing right on up. Y'all can see my chicken steady falling apart. Y'all see that? That chicken is falling apart. That chicken is ready to go. Come down on the chicken bag. That chicken is falling apart. That chicken is ready to go. And this is like more than enough. This should last us for tonight and like lunch tomorrow. It won't be enough for dinner, but it'll be enough for like somebody, like two or three people to eat for lunch. Because my family is big. It's seven of us. Your family might be small. If your family is small, you might not want to make this much unless you want to have um leftovers now this meal will cost you but what we made we used two egg noodles three pounds of chicken and two things of cream of chicken the cream of chicken is like two dollars and 32 cent each so that's four dollars and 64 cent the noodles are a dollar and 89 cent each i'm gonna just round up the four dollars so we had ten dollars and then three pounds of chicken will be like two dollars and fifty cent of drumstick so let's say three dollars so this was like a 13 dollar meal y'all all this for 13 dollars like it's a lot and it's delicious but if you wanted to add some sweet peas you would just dump them in here but i'm gonna put me some sweet peas on the side just for myself and baby all right guys so now we have my sweet peas in the pan what i'm gonna do is add some sugar yes i am unhealthy i didn't mean to add that much sugar man that was ridiculous but we add us some sugar. After we add our sugar, what we're going to do is stir that sugar right on me. That's my sweet peas with some good sweet peas. For those of you who are like health food freaks, y'all gonna be like, what, that is so unhealthy. Well, this is my house. <laughs> this is my house, you worry about your house. I'm gonna get me a new pot set soon, but I'm in love with this silicone spoon set that my subby sent me. Thank you, girl. Thank you, look how good it works. Oh. Y'all know I love me a good metal spoon, but uh, look at y'all upgrade my life. Teach me something new. Teach me, teach me, teach me. I'm excited. Let's get over here to this cream of chicken because it's like basically done and we don't want it to stick in the pan. Daddy on me about that. He's like, make sure it don't stick. Yeah. Ooh, got to turn it off. It's done, y'all. This is done. We do not want it to stick. Once you add that cream of chicken, it will go to stick it. And then if you stir too hard, you see how that meat just falling apart? Because it's tender, baby. All right, how I like the stir guys so i like to serve my cream of chicken in a bowl i just rinse this out i always be rinsing my bowls before i use them i don't know why but yeah we're gonna put a lot of noodle in there like so how good that look then you're gonna add you a piece of chicken of your liking right like so if you want your chicken to break apart and be bones and off the meat 
then you can just let it boil longer. But I don't like to do that. I like my chicken to be whole. And then if you want to be fancy, what you want to do is add you some parsley. All right, guys, this is the completed cream of chicken. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. If you want to be fancy and make it more appealing, what you want to do is just sprinkle you some parsley like so. Not too much parsley, now. Nah. We want it to look appetizing, but we don't want it to be a parsley salad. And then that's it. So in the South, we love spicy food. So if you want, you can add you some Louisiana hot sauce. Or you can even do you some crystals. Y'all comment down below. Which hot sauce is your favorite? Which hot sauce is y'all favorite? Are you team crystals? Are you team Louisiana? Which one? Babe, which one you like? I'm Louisiana all day. Daddy like crystal. Okay. Uh, this is the aftermath of my chicken and noodle. Y'all gotta excuse my bowls. I've had them for a while. Bought them from the Dollar Tree like three years ago and they still rocking. This one is mine. Daddy already took his food and gone. This one is my 12 year old. I gave him two pieces of chicken because he greedy. Then this is gorgeous. His food took the bone out. Baby food, no real chicken. He just got chicken pieces. And then McIntyre's food and Choice's food. Choice eats a lot. So that's why that's his food. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And y'all make y'all some chicken and noodle at home. And if you did enjoy this video, you already know what to do, what to do, what to do. Go ahead and hit a like you like. Hit a like you like. Hit a like you like. But like. yeah, girl, we are now 21K strong in the peach patch. Thanks for watching. Bye.